for story and my story topic is geometry shepin had been a very intelligent student since his childhood she always stood as frontier most of the time marley was shepin's little sister and she always questioned him that how the he learn and very easily and very brilliantly and on that very evening Marley Stephen was walking into her garden and suddenly he heard the sound of shouting of the Marley and he ran into the Marley's room and he followed the eyes of her sister and he see and he was surprised to see a infinitely shaped object which was moving in infinite ways on the ceiling the doorbell rang and twice till then Marley pressed the button to welcome the newcomer into their house, and they found Doctor Gill downstairs. Then a conversation starts between both the children and the doctor. Children say, "Hello, doctor. Please have a seat." Then doctor replies, "Yes, my child." Then children ask him, "What can we do for you, doctor?" Doctor says, "I just want to see my shapeless one." Then children wondered, "What shapeless? We are not getting you, doctor." Then doctor pressed a switch on his watch, and that infinitely shaped object came downstairs and moving as usual. Then children were wondered on seeing this unusual thing, and then doctor explained them that this is a mathematician con concept made by me recently. Then children were warned to know more about that concept, and the Stephen was sitting near the doctor and was very wondered to hear more about the story of concepts and of the mathematical concept. Then doctor started. Geometry is that branch of mathematics that deals with the queries of shapes, size, and the properties of shapes. We can give any shape to any object. It means. that the shape can get infinite the object can get infinite shape then doctor tell without a geometry our life is pointless and the doctor congratulated to the stephen as he became a greater mind of the 13th century and marley as he is a good listener at last i want to say that marley and stephen learned many math concepts concepts from the doctor and what i hope that you will also learn the mathematical concepts from this story thanks and have a fly above the sky let the creativity inside work out in all directions and color the world hi this is madhav and you all are welcome in madhav dreamland 14 november 2019 was celebrated as children's day in our school with fun and hope Many sports tournaments were organized that day or by our coaches. That day we lost our cricket match, and I returned home with upset mood and there was total loss of energy. Lying on the bed and falling into sleep didn't take any gap. After some time, I saw myself above the clouds near a cute little angel. I heard a sweet voice. Why are you upset, Madhav? I replied. Today we lost our cricket match, and I am feeling completely shattered. Angel with a smiling face pat on my back and questioned, Madhav, have you ever seen a ray of light? What is a beam of light? What are their qualities, and what is the difference between them? To her surprise. I quickly answered a beam of a light is a collection of rays of light and they both travel in a straight direction angel added exactly my child you must learn from this that you have to stay straight on the path of positivity and try to build a team spirit learning from a beam of light and when it is passed through a converging lens then it has the ability to burn a paper even if you are able to concentrate and focus then you can burn your challenges into ashes she blessed me and disappeared
appeared into clouds. Next morning, I woke up full of energy and positivity. So my moral of the story is: stay focused, follow the path of positivity, and try to build your team spirit. Thank you for lending your ears. I was here to tell you about the story, and my story is bad company. Once a boy fell into a bad company. He missed his bad boys and wasted his time. It pained his father. His father, his father tried best to save him, but to no avail. One day, his father thought a plan. He bought some fresh apples from the market. He also bought some rotten apples and told his son to put these apples in the amira. The boy did so. Next day, the father asked his son to bring his apple, bring one apple from the amira. But the boy was sad because all the apples were rotten. Then the father told his son to that one rotten apple has spoiled all the good ones. Bad friends are like bad apples; they can spoil you. The bo- these words were bad magic. Now the boy gave up from bad company and became good as before. And the moral of the story is better alone than a bad company can. Yeah.